wrong with you? I mean, what's your problem? What's your problem? Are you okay? Are you okay? You're not all right. <laughs> you guys one thing you see those people who uh made rules those people who made rules are people as i've as i've already put it they are people just like you aren't you a person you are a person right you are a person can you imagine can you just imagine that you can also make your own rules and break others do you know that just as people believe that we have to wake up during daylight and sleep at night do you know that you can make your rule of uh having to wake up at night and now sleep uh during the day i'm not high i'm not high i'm very sober <laughs> i'm very sober people we make rules those people who made rules are people just like you you can break them and make your own rules okay so let me tell you something let me let me tell you why i'm uh, 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 why i'm sounding like this um friends and welcome back thank you so much for tuning in today uh and if you're new here you're so welcome my name is laura and in today's topic guys i want us to talk about societal pressure and um uh, what inspired this topic is uh how i see people living in this generation that we are in and i'd really love to change a mentality of one or two people so i said let me just come here and talk out my mind and maybe see if it makes sense let's talk about this so uh you notice that guys in this current generation at a very young age we get so influenced and so pressured by so many external things that um you may really wonder if we are living our lives are we really living our lives or we are living to impress other people i don't know if you are living the life designed for us I don't know if we are doing things that are making us happy or we are living the life that we've been designed for by the society um when i talk about society i'm talking about uh, your neighbor i'm talking about your relatives i'm talking about people in your community your surroundings what are the people in your community what are the people back at home think about you and how you should live uh, th that's the society basically basically the society the society is just people around you we make the society people make the society people make the community and i want us to just i want us to talk about this guys i really want us to talk about this so if you'd love to um hear about this or hear my mind or hear my opinion about this please just watch this video until the end yeah number one i'm going to be uh, to talk about being successful uh being married owning a home uh, by a certain age um you find that uh people believe that um wealth or as they call it or as they refer to it people many people believe that wealth should be attained at a certain level not even should must like if you reach a certain age and you are not wealthy the society has already grouped you as poor and then i want to talk about also marriage i'm going to try to be as very um i'm going to be as shallow as possible not really shallow i'm going to go to to talk deep but I, i'm going to be brief i'm going to be as brief as possible because after this video i'm going for a live video here on youtube and by the way we'll be going on a live um youtube lives here so please make sure to turn on the notification bell the post notification bell so that you'll always be alerted whenever i come live on youtube or whenever i post any video you'll be among the first people to uh to view it so yeah i was talking about marriage um the society has grouped um has like set a certain age for people to get married such that if you have a girl and you've attained a certain a certain age and you're not yet married they just term you as 
huyu amekata kuoleka huyu she'll be a single mother they'll even start telling you now just give a, give birth to a child so that hata kama utoleka at least you have a child this is so wrong in every way i can think about this is so wrong in my opinion um i think marriage is a decision is also not a must for me i think that uh marriage getting married is something good in my opinion and um i think that um if you are blessed enough to get a good partner or someone compatible with you you should get married at the same time i feel like marriage is a blessing according to the bible and uh, as a believer of course i really love marriage i admire married people and yeah i love union however i feel like marriage should not be the ultimate like goal of uh the society like of how successful you are like the society should never refer to a person as successful based on their marital status a single person has the very very same rights in the society as a married person that's just my opinion and that's just period and that's just it guys i can't say more or less let's talk about um let's talk about uh how people live their lives how does the society want us to live our lives the society needs that after high school you join campus after campus you get a job get married buy a car buy a house support the society do what what go back and give back to the community so much too many demands too many demands guys in my opinion i feel like if someone wants to finish high school and then go on a trip just trip the world if you want to finish high school then just go trip the world people should be let should like just leave people alone i feel like just leave people handle life the way they feel like it's good for themselves and also it makes them feel deep inside them don't you don't go uh, forcing people to go to after high school to join campus and then they'll just fa fail in the long run they'll fail by the way in the long run some people might just fail because of that pressure you know when you are being pressured to do something you don't want it's just a different thing if people want to finish high school and they want now to go travel the world it's okay if someone wants to do a um, remote job or someone wants to work uh, maybe 80 hours in a week let them be people must not work in the office for them to be like now i'm working i'm successful why is it that the society see people with white collar jobs as more successful with uh, than people who do businesses and people like I don't know how best I can explain this, guys. But if you are living in this society, I know you understand this. Like, how, however, or however wealthy you might be, but you are just a businessman, you'll never look at someone who's successful in the eyes of the society. Never, never. I just hope this changes in the next generation. Honestly like you might be earning so much that than someone who's uh you might be a business person uh who's earning so much than someone who's working in an office but as long as you're not working in an office you're not waking up every morning to put on a suit <laughs> now you get tie to go to work who are you who are you we don't know you we don't know you <laughs> we don't know you society wants you to wake up in the morning put that suit on brush your shoe like brush your hair then put on your heels be, go in an office sit and roll on that you know that way even if you're going to earn a simple ten dollar in a month trust me you are so successful in the eyes of the society i just don't know why oh my god i almost got an accident i don't know why let's go to the next point guys because this is so 
So guys, let me talk about career path. And uh, here I'll just say that it's good to determine your intersection between your skills and your interests and your strengths. But honestly, I don't buy that the idea that you need to know your career path for you to, you know, believe, oh my God. Forgive me, guys. We have some dogs here. They really can... Okay, I was saying it's good to try and determine the intersection between your skills and, and strengths and your interests in life, your interest in life. But then I also believe in trial and error. By the way, I really believe in trial and error. I don't know if I'm right. Tell me in the comment section, but I really, really believe in trial and error. I just like figuring out whether this thing will work for me or not. I believe that... Um, a career is something you you can have as many careers as possible i don't believe in the fact that uh you must just have this one career and just hold by it and go by it even if it frustrates you to the core you're just like this is my career i have a degree and master's degree and a phd in this so i must do it even if it depresses you also i believe that there are people who are never meant and I can say this because I've seen people do this. I've seen people leave their careers to just do some other things that they didn't even learn a single thing about. It's all about comfort. How comfortable are you in your career? How do you do you enjoy doing that thing you are doing right now? Do you enjoy doing it? Or you just doing it for the money and it's good to do it for the money. I mean, you you spent to learn about that, so it should at least pay. That's the least it should do. But then again, um, so forgive me for that. But then again, you should not just do it because um, even if it's, but then again, you should not do it even if it frustrates you. Something that frustrates you means that in, imagine if you have a job, like waking up to that job each and every day, yet it, frustra it frustrates you. The drainage, the drainage, I can only imagine. You know, one thing with doing something that you love and enjoy doing, that, this is just a thing I've learned. Even if you fail at it, you always finding um, something, just one thing that inspires you and tells you, no, you enjoy doing this. Do it. Do it for your own sake. Do it for the enjoyment. You know, that's one thing I love about doing something that you love. And then uh, it will never drain you. You can just get a simple burnout, but then you find ways to just come back to it and continue doing so i also don't believe in this thing that the society has that you must just have a, a, that 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 career and chase it ch be chasing it at it just because you went to school and got that degree in law you must be a lawyer and in whatever case or in whatever situation you are a lawyer if you just if you try to to quit that job oh you will get as much stigmatization from the society than you will not even you will get so much stigmatization you will get so much like judgment from the society than the stress you even used to get from work this should stop by there it's not even funny let me talk about being stereotyped in the society so many people are depressed from this by the way people are stereotyping other people in the society they want that perfect fit that they will never give even themselves people have been stereotyped for being single like um, maybe a single lady or maybe you were married and then you came out of the marriage because maybe you are experiencing some torture physical or emotional or whatever kind of torture and then you decide that i will not die in this marriage let me get out of this marriage and then uh, pick my kids collect my kids and then just say so that i can see where the future leads us and then you just get stereotyped by the society they'll be referring you to um Ah, that single lady mwenyana kwanga, that single lady mwenyana kwanga alitokanga kwa banake, mwenyana ishingi hapo peke yake. Uye mama watoto, 
Uyo mama single, that will be the name. Ule mama litoka kwa marriage yake. Guys, this is so, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Let me tell you something. You may never know whatever uh, caused the marriage break. Uh, let me tell you something. You may never know what caused the marriage to break. Or you may just never know people's situation. You find someone has just bought um, a car and they live in a rental house. And then people will be like, ah. Ule mwenye amenunua gari na bado anaishi kwa rental. Like, what the heck? What's wrong with you? Are you even thinking? Are you even thinking? Are you even thinking when you are judging someone who's used his or her hard-earned money to buy a car to park in front of his rented house? What's wrong with you? I mean, what's your problem? What's your problem? Are you okay? Are you okay? You're not all right. By the way, if you've ever found yourself judging people at him because they bought a car and they still live in a rental house and you're judging them, something is wrong with your head. Sorry, not sorry. Something is so wrong with your head. Let me tell you something. People have different priorities. People have different priorities. Don't just jump into people's lives and be judging people. You are one of the people that is bringing this society down. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. You are the one stigmatizing people. You are the one making people feel depressed and killing themselves. Hmm? And you are enjoying it. That simple remark you made to someone. That simple word you, you that simple thing you ask someone. You ask someone. <clears throat> and you, by the way, I just see you staying here alone. Are you not married? You, in your opinion, you really asked a very simple question. But trust me, you left someone depressed. Like, I mean, are you now happy? Are you happy? Why can't you just mind your own business and let people live freely in the society? Guys, I have a bunch of things and I think right now it's what time? It's almost time. I really want to do some other things. I, I have a meeting at 3.30. Also need to go to, on a live YouTube at 2. But I'm, I'm getting annoyed also. So I might just as well end this video. Because I don't know why I'm getting so annoyed filming this video by the way. Um, personally, I've not experienced it. <sighs> Maybe you're a firstborn. Let me take an example of firstborn the society has always expected that firstborns will take responsibilities of their younger siblings why why this is so sad why i mean why you find that firstborn has not even maybe was not even educated until a certain level but the society maybe he or she is even but the society expects that this same firstborn who is jobless should educate his or her younger siblings, build a house for her or his parents. Why is this so, by the way? Why? Why? Should they still, should, should they just do anything? As long as they're supporting their siblings and they're building new houses for their parents and they're doing all these things that the society want, want, wants them to do. Why now? Personally, I'm not a firstborn in my home. And again, my firstborn sister, our firstborn is a sister, I only have three siblings. If you've watched my Get to Know Me video, you already know that. I have a younger brother and also have a big sister. And let me tell you something. In our home, we are never going to put so many responsibility, not even a single responsibility on my older, elder sister. I mean, someone has her family. Someone has grown big. People are now expanding their lives. And then that moment when someone wants to expand their lives, you are coming there at your, you know, oh, sees, um, 
I need my I, I need uh my house rent paid by you. You know you are our elder sister, so you should take responsibilities. How is your husband doing? I need your husband to do this, this and and this for me. Oh, I need a mom at home wants this. I we don't do that. We don't do that. I don't think it's proper. I want I, I feel like someone should do it when they are able and comfortable doing it when people are comfortable they'll probably just do it by themselves i don't think they'll even need uh, to be told by anyone i feel like th they'll just feel like yeah i need to help someone because i'm in that position but you know again i believe in uh this thing that um i don't know how they 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 literally like they they literally put it but i know something about you give from what's full already you can never give from an empty something you need to be full for you to give comfortably okay i don't know if you guys are getting my point let someone uh, uh, let, let let first bonds be please let them be let them have that freedom without uh having this this thing in mind that ah, without them feeling guilty that they are not helping you because you are a younger sibling please just work hard for yourself work hard for yourself and ju just get your own way out of shit please please because you see when we burden them they'll also calm down we don't want to have a family where everyone is down because even that one person who is who was at least higher has been brought down we need a family which is um let let that person be comfortable that's my point my main point is let them help whenever they are comfortable helping and not because of the societal um societal that uh guilt i don't know that societal pressure that yay you need to build your house your mother a house or your father a house you're the firstborn of this home na, 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 na. La, 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 la. especially africans we are so good at that let's stop that please uh i think guys uh, that will mark the end of this video please don't feel pressured by the society just do you because as much as you are trying to uh you're trying to make other people happy and you're not happy by yourself it really hurts really really hurts it's not even good so just feel at feel at peace just be you don't mind them don't mind them just do you as long as you know you're doing what you love and what you're enjoying and what you are comfortable doing continue doing it okay try to go your own way you will impress some people you will please some you will provoke some and you'll, you'll you will even provoke their judgment on you do you know that that's why being just impressing everyone is so difficult so difficult i've never seen something as difficult as that just do you if you try to to impress everyone you will end up provoking some as uh, you what you will you will impress very few so just do you be you a good thing with uh, going your own way and being yourself is that uh whoever you impress is okay whoever you provoke is okay whoever you please is okay zero chills so guys that's going to be enough for today please remember to subscribe like this video comment share and also watch my other videos and until next time we see you bye and i love you